there is anything I tell people, I tell people that the type of generator you use will determine a lot. Yes. No, but I have to say this. No, sir. I just have to say this. No, sir. No. Let me finish what I'm saying. Agree with me. If you use a very big generator, for example, if never to take light, it's not a problem because you buy things in bulk. You buy four, three thousand. Sorry, four, five thousand. Engine oil, three thousand. If never to take light, you can send your last one to turn on the gen, and that is all. You just turn the ignition, and the gen is on. But I don't know if you see all this small small gen. You buy things briefly. Four, three hundred. Engine oil, fifteen hundred. You will not now open it fully, you open it halfway, you open the fuel pump halfway. <laughs> if never to take light, everybody will have to hear at the same time. It's not because there's no fuel. But now we pull up. The mommy in the house will not say that to you, they will say you buy to be alone. Tell them if I can't buy to be alone, send in a paper that can be inside the bed. You will now call your neighbor. The first point of call is that your neighbor will just look at the gen and reverse. And he will tell you, mommy and my worry. As she said. say. And the best thing is going to do just say something like this. Hakra. We ask that same question. Shake one more. Shake one more. Hakra. Hakra. Share one more. Hakra. How do you let on last? Last week. Hakra. He will now move back again, walk towards it, and shake it again. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. And my worry as she shake her. Now say Hakra. Agrrr. Everybody will see Uncle Wooten, she said. Agrrr. You will just take five steps away. Agrrr. What do you just say? Agrrr. Say, Lord, I can do. Anytime I go weddings, I'm always happy when I see that it is intertribal, you know. So many Yoruba parents sometimes will be very skeptical about intertribal marriages. They will tell their children, don't worry along. So that if they marry, not for you. A lady had that same challenge, but she summoned courage and she took her fiance to her father. And she was like, Daddy, this is the guy I've always told you about. And the Yoruba man just looked at him for a moment and said, Bale, how are you? He said, I'm fine, sir. Bale. He said, yes, sir. Kilo Rukwai. The guy said, Bese. The man said, Bese. Bese. This is a female name. My sister is Bese. My younger brother's daughter's wife is also Bese. But the first one is Ake Bese. The second one is only Bese. So which Bese are you? The guy said, Hindu Bese. Bese is Bese as far as we are concerned. We tell people that the kind of school that you send your child to will determine the way that child thinks. Look at all those children that you have an idea of the kind of school they attend. These are not just children, they are fruit of the womb. <laughs> Some kind of fruits, the fine one, we have we have watermelon, we have strawberry, we have apple, we have pineapple. Fine ones. The second one, we have a sour. We have a few. We have a wing, we have a balloon. Oh, we have it that. All those ones I just mentioned, you can never see them in fruits alive. <laughs> uh, you drank juice with a value of flavor before. <laughs> I tell people that, the, that there is a big difference between birthday and by day. Yeah. I had the privilege of having a birthday at Parkview Estate in Ikoyi. I was impressed with what I saw because of the kind of children there. I was speaking English, they were responding. Hello, children. They said, Hello, uncle. So now are you today? They said, fine, thank you. I said, why are we here? They said, we're here to celebrate Bolo Atifes birthday. I said, really? They said, yeah. I said, that one is Bolo Atifes. They said, Bolo Atifes too. I said, really? They said, yeah. <laughs> there was a serious communication between myself and the children. No, but I tried the same thing one by day. <laughs> it was a by day. In one town, I don't want to mention for security reasons. <laughs> when I got there, I was confused because I did not know the difference between boy and girl. Because all of them were going my back. In La Pa La Pa on their head, you can calculate the circumference. <laughs> All of them now walk down and come back. When I got there, I was speaking English. Hello, children! They were looking at me. <laughs> Are you happy? They were looking at me. Hello, children! They were looking at me. One woman just came to meet me. Brother, I just saw you, man. <laughs> I just said to you, say no, you need to. All of them say, hi. Hi, <laughs> boo. <laughs> So why are we here today? They were looking at me. I said, you was know, saying, you know, they said, I want your eyes to offend you. I said, Sorry. <laughs> This is uh, Chin Yolu's uh, husband, the hobby. We'd like to ask him a few questions about February 6, what he knows about them. Uh, first, let's ask, what's up? Does she look at her WhatsApp a lot? Yeah, she does. And how do you feel about that? I don't have a problem with it. What do you know about February 6th? 
Well, um, I've been to a couple of your programs, and um, what I know is that you guys bond together. You are doing something unique and different. And um, I don't. I went to secondary school, and I I can't remember half of the people I went to secondary school with. So you guys are doing a great job. So um, this um, end of your party, unique. Yes, it is special in the sense that you give the. Um, I've gotten to know a couple of people here, basically because of all of these gatherings. So I'm not a stranger to a lot of you now. You can't see me on the way and turn away. So it's fantastic. Let's talk about your wife. <laughs> no, I mean she's the best. As in, um, you need to get to know her to know that she's the best. You, you are glad you married somebody like that. I'm blessed every day. And I mean that she's so wonderful. She, I'm here I am talking to you because of my wife. Thank you, Pastor. Here you have it. Wonderful, wonderful testimony about Chinye Lokoe, one of our 86 stalwarts. And um, it's, it's still fun galore at um, February the 6th end of your party. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Holidoye is trying his very best. <laughs> but, 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 but that is not going, you know. It only touched the side. All right, let's see. Here it is. Hey, good smash. Now another smash. Hey, another smash. Yes, oh, he goes in. Yes, yes. Huh? Let's see how they do it. Whoa. <laughs> do we say this is a fabulous deal? <laughs> of course, Cross House. Yes. You and Cross House too. Yes. Okay. yes. 19 is, uh, 16 is more than 19. That's what you're saying, right? No, she beats you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's still fun right here at um, AKT's house where we're having fun at uh, the end of your party of Fego 86. Um, and uh, people are just having fun. Ini is having fun by observing. We're yet to see her take the bat as if she's going to play table tennis. But she's watching, she's watching, she's watching. Yes, yes. And that's Chinyelu's daughter. Let's talk to her. That's Chinyelu's daughter. She's actually. Wow! But then, if you turn around, you see her father. Just turn around, you see her father. So, you, know where so you please trace it from the floor. Trace it from the floor so that we know how high. Exactly. That's good. Yeah. Hey, that's the pan up and down. So here it is. Um, let's speak with uh, Chinyelu's daughter. Hi. She's a great mom. It's awesome. Awesome. How? How has she affected your own life? She has helped me in different areas. So what do you know about February 6? It's like a reunion, a class reunion. I served my fatherland some time ago. And I was posted to Oyo State. But I discovered we live in, I live in camp and I, and I live with people I fear most soldier. If there's anybody I fear in this life, soldiers again. Because the slap of a soldier can transform nation. But I discovered something, that those that studied medicine, they did not disturb them. But those of us that study political science, aquaculture and fishing, <laughs> BSC soil, they treated us as if we did not go to school. So I discovered that all the doctors had doctor on duty tags on them, but those of us that were not doctors did not have any tag. So I went to the computer, I studied political science, I went to the computer center, I said, please just help me type doctor on duty. Just type it for me and they put it on my chest. I was now working sluggish in one day, so just told me, hey, double up, you know what you're I said, I'm a doctor. He looked at me for me to say, you, daughter. I said, yes, I'm a daughter. He said, I've never seen the cleaning before. I said, I always go. He said, you, daughter. I said, yes. When he carried his hand up and I saw slap coming, he said, what type of daughter are you? I said, native. Daughter. <laughs> native daughter. 